Hello everyone, welcome to another Terraria session with you guys. Today, this is the sixth Terraria video of the series, and welcome guys. It, it's been a while since we played Terraria, and honestly, I cannot remember what we did last video, but I I can just remember a slight bit of it, what we did last video. Um, <coughs> slime, please. So, if you don't remember last video, I think, yes, we were with the strange one, uh, he's not here at the moment, he's on offline right now, but he will be online s sooner or later. We did some exploration, we encountered the corruption, which is one of the biomes we were, going, we were in. Now we're going to be making, we're going to make this house even more better. Yes guys, we're making this house more better. So, we're going to add a few more rooms in this house. And I'm have, we're going to add a few more rooms, because i got a lot of stuff on me actually, i got a... Well, at least I've got a few stuff on me. I don't know if Stranger has any, but we can check the chest to see if he's got anything in here. Um, okay, he's got a few things we can use. We can definitely use some of these things. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else in these chests. But yeah, so that's pretty much all that we're doing today's episode. And the next episode, if we're lucky, if Stranger is able to join us, then we might go down into the caves. If I bring up my map real quick. We're going to explore the... We're actually going to go into the jungle part. Well, the jungle part, which is the part which is literally right next to my house. And, oh, great, why do I... Every time when uh, when it's always, like... When I'm always about to try and build stuff, it's, it's night time. To kick things off, I'd say we should remove this. Because this is a mess down here. Uh, look at these things. Stranger was voluntold to donate blood... Wait, voluntold, not volunteered, voluntold to donate blood by Jungle Bat, January 2024. Um, this one was Mullet Man Gaming was scrowned into sad meat by Stranger Silver Broadsword. Oh yeah, we had a PvP fight, so I'm just going to quickly remove these as well. I'm going to keep the one up there, actually. We don't want too many of these tombs, but tombstones, otherwise it's going to... We're going to get bad stuff happening, and it's not going to be nice. I'm going to definitely remove this um, one up here. You know, remove a couple of these. So we're just pretty much doing a little bit, of, little bit of like upgrades in this house. We're gonna try and remove some stuff that's irrelevant. For example, these gray. Actually, I'm gonna keep that one because that one is the first death. Oh no, it's the second death I had in my series, but it was actually pretty funny. And I did remove the other gravestone because I got killed by a jungle bat around here somewhere. I think it was like right there. And there's a gravestone down there. Stranger was deboned by Stranger's boss. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny, but okay, let's get down to business actually. We want to make a room, a crafting room actually. So that's the plan for today's episode. We're going to make a crafting room, and we're going to make a couple of other rooms as well. This will be down here, just for now, another room, if we get lucky, and then this can be just full of like, stuff, choosing stuff. But today I think, I feel like it's best to make a crafting room, because you know what? Crafting is everything in this game, to be honest. And zombie, get lost. I don't want you being here now. Get a, get lost, okay. So if we were going to go and try and, like, build this crafting room, we want to find something else other than other than wood. We want to spice this house just a little bit. And I'm pretty sure down in some of these caves somewhere, there's at least, like... Oh, Fallen Star. Okay, so... There's gonna, I was about to say, there is at least going to be some clay around here somewhere. Because clay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually um, building the crafting room out of clay. So that's the plan. Okay, so the clay, I remember, is in a big cave somewhere. Like, past the trees. Oh, God, it's a little dark down here. I'm going to place more, some more of these torches down, actually, to light up our way before anything else happens. We did explore down this tree earlier, last video. Okay, hang on. Is there clay down here? we got to look for, like, red patches of, like... Something that looks like, yeah, like this. So this this stuff right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of hard to tell between dirt and clay, but that is that is clay. It's a bit more red, but it is it it is clay, I can tell you. <laughs> I'm not blind. Okay, the problem is, there's a ton of zombies around, and some of these things are actually really lethal. Like this, these ones are jumpy all for some reason. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Right, I think this is clay up here as well. I think that's clay up there as well. Okay. So, in order to actually, okay, let's block off this area, actually. Where's my six button? Oh, no, he's already escaped. Oh, no, he's already, he's already gone in here. Hello there. Okay, um, oh, wait a minute. I'm collecting vine ropes for some reason. That's kind of weird. Yeah, okay, so this is Clay, I presume. Okay, zombie, get lost, all right? 
get lost. Oh no, he went in! Ah! God! Okay. I need to block that off, but the problem is there's so many mobs here. Alright. Right, I gotta kill this zombie real quick, because he's gonna be in the way. Okay, I don't know why I had my... Alright, just block that off. There we go. So now he can't really go into this. That's good. Okay, I'm glad I actually blocked that off. Bro, there are so many... Oh my god, there's five of them! Bro, they called their neighbors out just to kill me, dude. What the hell? Okay, we're gonna grab about 400, maybe 500 clay blocks, actually. I think there's enough, there's more clay blocks in the, um, in the house already. I don't wanna grab too many, otherwise we're gonna run out of clay and we're not gonna be able to build with it, but I wanna, st I wanna build, like, something different, to be honest. I want this room to be actually, like, better than normal. Well, okay, there's a lot of clay, actually. That's actually good, because... Okay, we know what we're gonna mine down here, but this area is full of this stuff right here. We also need to get some better armor, because pumpkin armor is not gonna go well, and we wanna, we wanna, like, get better stuff in the game, me and Stranger, so that's something. Um, oh, I see, I see an ore down there. And there's actually quite a lot of it. I think that either is, that's either copper or, or it could be iron. I think it's iron, because it looks a little bit more like an iron colored thing. There are so many mobs, oh my god. Just leave me alone, alright? Leave us, leave me alone, actually. Stranger's not here to protect me. It's kind of difficult playing without Stranger, because he's like, he's the, pretty much the person with the most amount of OP, OP stuff. And I was right, it actually is iron, so that's good. How much of this stuff is there? Okay, there's not much, uh, there's a, there isn't really that much, but we might as well grab some of this anyway, because after this episode, I'm gonna make some iron armor just to make myself a little bit more protected. Alright, that's all the iron taken care of. We can go back near mining some more clay, the best stuff in the world. How much do I have in my inventory right now? It's 99, that's nothing. I'm pretty sure there's like there's a lot of clay blocks in the in the chest. Oh, I didn't take any recall potions with me, didn't don't I? I don't think I even have any recall potions. Ah, oh, crap! I didn't bring any with me. Crap. Um, this will be difficult, but I at least actually I have a gun. So if I'm if I'm if I'm able to, I can just shoot the zombies in the head if I want to. Okay, but for, to be honest, this spot actually is perfect. Instead of like going outside and finding some clay, this spot's actually amazing because there's a ton of clay around here, which is good. Well, I kind of want to use them as like building blocks in, for like building more rooms. I don't want to use them for like pillaring up. Okay, this was a big vein of like clay, to be honest, guys. How much do I still have to go? Oh my god, it goes deep. Okay, we're gonna we're not gonna mine all of this clay because uh, it's gonna get real boring soon. But I think around about five minutes time. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have all the clay I need, and I, I think all the like, well, until all the zombies and and demon eyes are gone, then yeah, I can get out of here if I wanted to. Eventually. Here we go. Okay, so it's now daytime in Mullet Man Gaming's world. All the zombies look like they're yeah, they're all uh, walking away. So I think it is daytime now. So that's good, and I've gathered pretty much a decent amount of clay. I feel like there's, a, there's gonna be like a ton of it in my inventory, but I'm just grabbing these last bits because this is a big vein of clay, but I'm, to be honest, this is all the clay I think I'll need for this video. Uh, how much do I have in my inventory? No. Oh yeah, okay, 381, not that bad. Oh look at that, I can just use my stepping stool as well if I'm having trouble trying to get up as well, that's funny. All right, let's actually get out of here, shall we? Let's just remove this, because this was absolute. This was an absolute mess I just made. Yeah, look, I'm mining vines. I don't know why. Um, oh, this thing. Oh, I do. I uh, have this thing. Yeah. Are you me? Eh. Bully. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm trying to read something. Uh, yeah, I got the boarding guide. Okay, I think that was last episode where I got that thing. Okay, instead of zombies, there's actually a ton of slimes and stuff, and they're absolutely completely useless just now because I'm a bit more stronger. Okay, I'm actually gonna remove these gravestones as well because these are annoying. I think that's about it. Death weed? Where the heck? What the heck is that? I have no idea what that is, but it sounds terrifying. To be honest, I'm not gonna gonna make this room like out of clay. The problem is, how much stuff does it? take to craft this thing. It's like, I'm making clay bricks, to be honest. So, this room up here is gonna have to be filled in with wood, because it's gonna it's gonna look a little weird if it was clay, so let's just quickly just build this. I'm not gonna be too sure what this room's gonna be. Pretty sure it's another one of these, like, NPC rooms I'm probably gonna make with Stranger. Okay, let's craft some wood walls as well. 2,000 years later. There we go, okay, so now this room is fully filled in. Uh, we need some doors. Okay, so I'm, a lot of people caught me off guard about that. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't see that, but 
Let's just quickly make a couple of doors so that we can just fill that in without getting, without pissing everyone else. A door, smack bang there and there. So now that looks better, guys. I'm sorry, guys, about that. I did not really pay attention to that. Let's just put a couple of torches up here. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about this room later. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to make this crafting table room, or crafting room, I should say, we're like really neat quickly now. Okay, so this level here is the crafting area. So this is the room where you, there's gonna be like a ton of like crafting, smelting, different types of workbenches, I'm pretty sure. So, ever stone brick? No, that's not it. Here we go, red bricks. Okay, so it's two clay bl blocks. Okay, that's actually, I think that's actually perfect, actually. Alright, there we go. I got 149 of them, which is a lot of clay bricks. But this is going to be the stuff I'm going to be using for this for this area up here. So I'm just going to build all the way up there. I think it suits best as well that this room it has to be like clay based because you know crafting and stuff. It's a little bit more hands on than things, and I think bricks is going to be the best I think material to use for this. Okay, I used a lot more clay than I expected to use, but. The foundation of it is going to be stone walls, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be a good touch as well. Um, oh dear, okay, do I have enough stone walls, actually? I, know, I, know, I might need to go mining for stone, actually. Um, oh dear, okay, I'm just going to dump my clay in there for now because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to grab this. I don't really think I have enough. Okay, I need a lot more stone, I think. <laughs> oh, that's not good. So I'm going to have to go down mining again, or I can just build. I can just use the stone I have anyway. Oh my god, what is this? An enchanted boomerang. It's 18 melee damage, and you need just a star to craft it. Oh, that is okay. Okay, that's cool. Lead brick. Okay, I'm guessing it's just going to be uh, bricks made out of lead. Where are the stone walls? I had them earlier, but now I cannot find them, which is kind of irritating. Uh, is that it? Nope, that's lead bricks again. Oh, wait, I'm not even sitting next to a crafting table. I, I think that's why I'm stupid. There we go. Now, okay, we're going to craft as many as we can. And the max we can make is, oh god, okay, 256, I think that's plenty. And, oh, I forgot to add in the boundaries and stuff as well, so if I quickly grab my bricks and just place a few like there, and a couple right there, there we go. Now, these doors are going to be not wooden doors, we're going to try and make this house a little bit more other than wood. I was going to say not put the, the walls, like, on my wooden walls, because it kind of makes a little bit of a weird pattern. Nick I don't know if I even have enough actually for this. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, so I'm way down. Okay, we need a lot more. So we're gonna head back to that spot we were at earlier, or go down to the living tree area over there and grab just a bunch of stone. Yeah, so right where, right where the torches are, not there, but right here. This is where, or there, there's like a bunch of stone over here. Okay, we're gonna grab a lot of this stuff just to make sure that it's all, all of it has been. All my rooms have been furnished off with stone walls. Alright, so let's just grab a bunch of this stuff real quick. Mining away! God, okay, this pickaxe is actually taking forever. I really need a new pickaxe. This pickaxe is actually so slow. Okay, how much stone do I have? That's the question. I got 50 of them. Okay, that might just be enough. Okay, how do I... Okay, I actually want to grab some stone down here because there's a ton of it I can see. And for this crafting room, we're not going to just have boring old torches and stuff. We're going to have normal we're not gonna have like normal like normal torches we're gonna have a bit more different torches i'm thinking the mushroom torches in strangers chest we think we use because it, it's like a lot better and also crafting chandeliers is way too expensive so i'm not gonna craft any of them okay that's enough stone that's actually plenty of it that's perfect Can I please get up there sir oh god i'm going the wrong way false alarm it's this way it would be much easier if i had a, a teleportation device but Unfortunately, we don't have it at the moment, because we have to find one at least, or craft one. I do not know how to craft one, because maybe crafting one is a true pain. No, there's a gravestone over here, what does this say? Oh, Stranger Skull was crushed, oh yeah, that's right. We had a PvP battle here, so that was kind of funny. Okay, uh, where is my... Oh, so these are the stone walls, and we're just going to craft around about that much. It might be a bit too much, but oh well. Now, this is definitely all the stone walls we need, there we go. Also put a few down here. We cannot miss any of them. I'll grab my hammer. Where is my hammer, by the way? There's like stuff spread out in my inventory. I'm sorry, guys. Can I, can I grab that? There we go. Okay, I can. Well, I made a complete mess of my stupid bathroom area. Let's just patch that up. Let's put down my 
walls and there we go I don't know why actually I decided to put this here I thought it'd be you know two rooms but you know it's a whole room so of course we're gonna get rid of that I don't know what I'm thinking uh, platform wise we're gonna just stay with wooden platforms nothing too much nothing too much but yeah wooden platforms will do or mushroom platforms I'll just stick with the wooden ones and then if we want to build another level I can just use you know, brick brick platforms if that thing if they exist here's the crafting room guys so it's it's very empty so we're gonna grab our our anvil, our furnace, our keg, uh, the workbench, and a few more other stuff if we, if we can get it. So let's just remove that, get my anvil and stuff. Oops, my inventory's a little bit filled up. That's not good. Can I dump? Uh, more. Okay, we don't need vine ropes. So I've got too many ro ropes in it anyway. Um, a fallen star I will need because I'm actually going to craft a boomerang. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird. Yes, I know, I know it does. I'll, I don't know what's with the rotten chunks, but I'll... Just put them away somewhere else, because in weapons we need them, basically. And I think that's about it, we can all, that's all we can get rid of, which is kind of sad. We have to dump a lot of stuff in the chest, hold on, let me quickly do that. Put all this lead on, we're gonna dump our amethyst as well, and we're just in this chest here, we're just gonna dump like cobwebs, hay, and all the rest of other things that we don't need. I won't dump my kite, because the kite I think is really epic, and I don't want Stranger or anyone else stealing it, because I think they'll never give it back. And I think my inventory is a little bit more better. Not really, but it's it's good. Okay, so now let's start putting down a few things. So we got furnaces, that's one thing. We've got an anvil, so we just put that there. Uh, oh, we need torches as well, actually, in order to spice up this place. There is jack o' lanterns which I can actually hang around hang up as well so we'll use them uh we need mushroom torches they're the torches that we need and here we go mushroom torch bang right there these are actually these are actually mysterious as well these look a little bit mysterious so they look a little bit weird uh one up there and another one up here and then in, and then four blocks between them are gonna be jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know how to craft them. I think you need pumpkins. And that's about it. Uh, up here we go. We're in the pumpkin section now. Jack-o'-lanterns, and they can be placed. By one. Uh, here we go. jack o -lanterns. So this is the one. Wow, that's cost a lot. But we'll grab two of them because they they look they actually look really cool. So let's put one. Uh, say about one, two, one, two, three, and four, five one there and then five from this block here so one two three four five one there there we go let's grab the rest of our stuff let's grab our mushroom workbench as well and our workbench our keg as well this will be like a downstairs floor actually I'm pr I presume um then we'll just have a cra just a normal workbench and then this <laughs> a mushroom workbench because you know it looks a little bit weird the problem is i might actually change the positionings of these workbenches so then they could be next to the furnaces because what happens if i need to craft like like a bunch of other things that require furnaces but here we go this will do um and then i think that's about it really that's all we can have on oh, no, our keg as well hang on we gotta get our keg it's used for brewing ale so <laughs> i don't know what ale is i think it's just something about that drink alcoholic drink or something or something like that. um that's really about it guys that's all i can really craft oh well we can move on to crafting that boomerang i actually want to see what it is look at this okay so it's an enchanted boomerang 18 melee damage four percent critical strike chance very fast speed very good knockback it's a material so my normal boomerang is 11 melee this is 13 so let's craft it shall we oh i got a herd for one. Oh, here we go wait let's test it <laughs> That's fun. That's actually funny. Okay, why does that cloud look like a look like a tree? That's actually kind of sick and also kind of creepy as well. All right, Mr. Demon Eye, I'm testing this on you. Come here. Oh god. Ugh. Oh god, I'm so bad at aiming. Get away. Oh wow, wow, this is tough. Okay, this is a strong weapon. It's not really good because it's used mainly for range and stuff. But hey, it's pretty cool. This see a fallen star. I did see the the little sparkles and stuff. Go, that's that's good we need apparently we need to use them as for mana and stuff mana stars but eh, it doesn't matter really okay what else can we craft? oh i need to craft my iron bars can't forget about that oh my gosh i have 16 of them yo we can craft a bunch of stuff oh here we go heavy workbench okay so this might be a, another thing we can use it's used for advanced crafting so we're definitely going to add that to our thing oh look at the size of this thing decorative healing potion okay we're getting now we're getting a bit more into this game actually this is getting a little bit more better and uh, we can craft more chests and things a lot more railing what is this rails or something 
minecart track, <laughs> plus five range. I'm not too sure if it refers to range attack or something else. Oh, what's this? A weather vane can be placed. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Chains, okay, that's cool. A grate, and that's really about it. A toilet, a toilet. Oh my god, they're expensive to craft. There's six iron bars, and I only got eight of them. Um, oh, there's a bow. I might need a bow at some point, so let's craft an iron bow while we can. We've got a lot of melee tools and a lot of ranged weapons. So that's that's good. Why do I have two spears? Um, I feel like Stranger accidentally like gave me one of his spears, and I feel like I found another one, so I'm just gonna dump that in just a random chest. Just gonna dump it there. I don't need two spears and pretty much that's about it really so that is all the stuff I will need well, here we go he's a zombie I can test my enchanted boomerang this time all right mr. zombie you're about to get eaten bro oh my god I am strong <laughs> holy crap that zombie stood in no chance whatsoever oh you look at a zombie up here he thinks he's so tough and stuff how did you even get up there sir so there's no ladders for you to get up but you know what you know what I say for that be gone from you idiot but you want a piece as well mate you want a you want a piece as well man yeah come here you yeah get get absolutely destroyed bud okay I feel like this thing is absolutely doing nothing it says monster spoons spawns reduced I feel like it's not really reducing the monsters at all whatsoever okay more wooden arrows oh, I'm gonna close the doors leave us alone you know Okay guys, so this will wrap up another Terraria set, uh, video. We've made a lot of progress in this video, and to be honest, next video, if Stranger is on, we're gonna go into the jungle caves, we're gonna do that, and then that's and then we're gonna find whatever we want. Maybe we're gonna find more things, maybe we can discover a few more things as well. That might be the plan for next episode, I don't know. I'm very happy I got a hurtful enchanted boomerang. And yeah guys, so thank you all for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you want for more Terraria videos. And I'll see you later guys in another Terraria video.